Hello, Matthew Campagna for the Turning Gate, and this is How to TTG. I'm going to show you basic installation and rudimentary setup for the CE4 web publishing suite from the Turning Gate. Um, so this is a very quick overview just to get you up and running fast. And I am in my FTP client. I'm already logged into my server. I've set up a brand new subdomain where I can set up this demonstration. You will probably be setting up in your uh, regular domain. Um, you know, that would be like yourdomain.com or whatever. Uh, so on the right hand side, this big open white area, this is my server. It's completely empty. There's nothing there. I have a blank slate. And that's basically how you want to begin. On the left hand side, this is the CE4 web publishing suite. These are all the components that you can purchase from the Turning Gate. Uh, depending on your needs, you may not need all of them. Just, uh, you know, get the ones that you think you're going to need. Um, but I've got the whole thing here, and I'm going to put most of it together for you just to show you how it goes. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is find everything that ends in .lr web engine. Um, and if I can go back here for just a moment, .lr web engine. And we're going, those are the actual plugins that we're going to install into Lightroom's web module. So that would be the auto index enabler, the auto index. Uh, in the client response gallery folder, we have crg.lr web engine, uh, gallery, pages, stage, viewport sizer, and WordPress. So those are all of the web module plugins. Um, what we're going to do with those, and you can pause the video and look at this screen for as long as you need to. Um, this is the location where these things need to be installed on Mac, and this is the location where they need to be installed on Windows. I'm on a Mac. So I'm going to go to the Finder, the Go menu, and I'm going to hold down the Option key. And then this library item will appear. So we click that. I go into Application Support, Adobe, Lightroom, Web Galleries, and copy all of these .lr web engine packages into that folder. Um, so now, when I run Lightroom 5, we're going to go to the web module and we will find all of the plugins that we just installed. They will be on the right hand side under layout style. Takes a moment to load. Computer's a little slow while I'm recording video. So here under uh, layout style CE4 everything. Um, so it's as easy as that. So you can uh, come back here at your leisure, open up these panels. It's great if you work in solo mode. To do that, you right click any of the titles, come down here to solo mode, and turn that on. And what that does is every time you open uh, one of these panels, it will close the others. Um, so start at the top in site info, work your way down section by section. Sections are titled with green letters here and just fill things in, make your customizations, change your colors, change your content, whatever. Um, it'll go a lot faster if you don't use very many images while you're designing. Uh, the smaller number of images that Lightroom needs to render, the faster this whole thing is going to be. Uh, when you're finished, you can export. Um, I've already prepared some gallery designs for this demonstration, so at this point I'm going to leave Lightroom in its library module, and I'm going to close it down for a little while. So we'll come back to uh, the Finder momentarily, but for now I'm going to get back into FTP. So I'm looking at my web server, and I've got this folder, CE4TTGBE, and that is the back-end application uh, that we're going to install on our web server. It uh, allows the plugins to communicate when we're publishing galleries or when you're using the client response gallery or the shopping cart, the backend application will process the data uh, that, that those galleries are collecting from your customers or clients. So to get this running, we take this TTG-BE folder and we put that 
at the top level of our website. And that's going to be at yourdomain.com slash TTG dash BE. Um, and if we open that up, you'll see that there's this admin folder. Um, and that's where we're going to go to in our browser. So go to the web, yourdomain.com hyphen or TTG hyphen BE slash admin. And before I press enter, I'm going to warn you, there's going to be an error. There we go. There's the error. And I wanted to show this to you intentionally so I can show you how to fix it. Not everyone is going to get this. Um, the reason is because the application is trying to create a, da a database uh, that it can use, and it can't do it because the folder doesn't have write permissions on it. So you go to this data folder, ttg-be data. You right-click that in your FTP client, get info. Now, uh, right now, by default, the permissions are set to 755, which on some servers is going to be okay. I think if you're using Bluehost, whom we frequently recommend, 755 is going to be fine, and you won't see that error. Right now, though, I'm on my Media Temple server, and I know that Media Temple needs 777 for permissions. So I hit Apply, and it's always going to be either 755 or 777. So if you get that error, change the permissions on the data folder, go back, reload the page, and now we can log in. So uh, the default username is admin, and the password is TTG8888. I'm going to log in. And by logging in, I tell the application to complete its own installation. So that all happened in the background, and now it's, uh, it's ready to go. So I can go to Settings. Well, first look under Dashboard. There's only this one item. Go to Settings. Uh, if you want to, you can Manage Users, so you can change your username and password. But I'm going to skip that for now and go into TTG BE settings. I'm going to edit the settings. You know, name my company, the Turning Gate. Uh, the web address is the TurningGate.net. Actually, uh, this is demo.theTurningGate.net because this is a demonstration site. I'm going to put in my email address twice. And uh, for mail type, Go ahead and leave this as mail. That's going to be easier. Uh, the SMTP is more of an advanced feature, and if you're familiar with it, you can change it later. But that's it for now. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to save settings. And then I'm going to log out. You want to be logged out for this next part. So uh, that's the backend application. Some of the plugins have additional modules that we install in the backend application and those are CE4 cart, client response gallery, and publisher. So to get this stuff working I'm going to copy the modules into the TTG BE folder. So I'm going to get the cart folder from CE4 cart, the CRG folder from CE4 client response gallery, and the publisher folder from CE4 publisher and I am going to copy them into TTGBE. And that will take just a moment, and there it's done. You can see that we've got admin as before, but now we have cart, CRG, there's our data folder, and we also have publisher. So I can close that. Uh, we're gonna need a folder into which to publish our photo albums or our galleries, so I'm gonna create a new folder. And this could be an empty folder, it can be an auto index that, that you create using CE4 auto index, or it can be the galleries folder that is created by CE4 pages. Doesn't matter. Um, but just to show you how to create this on your own, if you just wanted to make an empty folder, you would create a new folder, name it galleries or portfolio, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then go get info, and same as before, set that either to 755 or 777, depending on your server. Um, start with 755, and then later if you get an error when you try to publish, come back and change it to 777. I know that my server needs 777, so that's what I'm using. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, we're going to go back 
to the admin now and log in again. When we log in, it's going to see that we've installed those modules. And now when we go to the dashboard menu, you can see that they are here, cart, client response gallery, and publisher. So we're going to go to each one of those one by one because when we activate them the first time, it runs the setup in the background. So there. Now we're all set up. Um, the last thing I want to do is in the publisher admin, I'm going to go to settings, publisher settings, edit settings, and uh, you can come back later and mess with all this, but the important thing is go down to the bottom under other and locate API key, edit that, and uh, put in a key that you'll remember. We're going to need this in Lightroom later when we're setting up the publisher. So we save the settings, and uh, now I'm finished here, so I can log out. Um, so back to my downloads. Uh, the, the last thing I need to install is the actual publisher plugin. It's not an LR web engine, so we didn't do that before. It's an LR plugin. And this needs to go somewhere on your computer where it can stay long term. It doesn't matter where. Um, maybe you want to go into documents and make a new folder. You can call it Lightroom stuff or Lightroom plugins, it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to put the uh, ce4publisher.lr plugin package there. And then I'm going to relaunch Lightroom 5. In Lightroom, I go to the File menu, select the Plugin Manager, and Add. Go to the whatever location you put it in. So I'm going to Lightroom stuff, and I'm selecting CE4 Publisher and Add Plugin. And there it is now on the left-hand side. We are done. Uh, now you can see here in Published Services, uh, there's this new CE4 Publisher item, and there's Setup. So we double-click that. We can put in the API URL, which is going to be your domain. So, you know, yourdomain.com slash ttg-be slash publisher slash. And then for the API key, we put in whatever we set as the API key uh, in the admin. And then hit the check authentication button. And if you've done everything right, the authentication check will be successful. So we hit OK. Um, we have that galleries folder. So... Uh, if you named it Portfolio, then write Portfolio here. By default, we use Galleries, so I'm just going to keep that and hit Save. Um, and then it creates this default album, which I'm going to delete because it sometimes causes problems. Yes, delete anyway. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go back into my FTP client. And uh, I told you before that I've already prepared some exported things from Lightroom's web module. Um, so I've got those here in the exports folder. And I'm just going to put this stuff online. Uh, so I, I exported an auto index, which we're going to, uh, when you create an album set in Publisher, that will get used as the, the design template. I created a gallery template. And when I made that, the images that I used in Lightroom don't matter because the publisher is going to fill in images when it creates albums but it will the 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 appearance of every album that you create will be based on whatever template you select for that album so I've made a template and then I've got CE4 pages that's going to be the basis of my website so um, if I open that up and it's reading the files from server so it takes just a moment to show me what's inside there. There we go. Um, you can see I've already got this galleries folder right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the one that I already made so that I can use the one that is in pages. So I'm just going to take all this stuff from inside the pages folder um, that I already exported from Lightroom and I'm going to drag that to my web server. Um, into the same place that the TTG BE folder already is. So those things all line up side by side.
And now if I go to my web browser and I go back to the front of my domain, what would you know be my home page? I have a website. Um, so very easy. Uh, now I'm going to open that TTGBE folder back up and there's this templates folder. I'm going to open that and inside there are going to be two folders, auto index and gallery. So I'm going to take my auto index template and copy that into auto index. And I'm going to take my gallery template and this you can use CE4 gallery, you can use CE4 client response gallery, or you can use CE4 stage, uh, depending on your needs, what you want things to look like. And I'm going to drag that into the gallery folder. Um, it's also okay to have more than one. That will just give you choices when you're creating albums. You'll be able to, you know, if you have more than one, you'll be able to select which design you want to use for the album you're creating. So those folders are now in there, and uh, that's it. Everything is done with FTP. So if I want to create a gallery, I can go back to Publisher, right-click that, create an album. Uh, these are pictures from Thailand, so I'll just call it Thailand. Give it a name, Thailand. A description, my vacation in Thailand. Uh, and then here, under template, you select the template that you just made, and then you hit create. So you can uh, go to your images, you know, drag some images into the collection, and then hit the publish button when you're ready. I might have forgotten to set permissions on that galleries folder I just copied in. So let me go back and have a look at that. Galleries, uh, remember, because I copied that from CE4 Pages. Yeah, that's going to need to be 777 for me. For you, 775 might be OK. Uh, Lightroom probably just gave me an error. Yep, can't do it. So now that I've changed permissions to 777, I'll hit that Publish button again. And this time it will work. Um, it's rendering the image, uploading the images. You can see the, the progress bar up at the top. And it's done. So now I can right click on the collection, go to published album. And there it is. There's my album with the, the one photo I published. Or, you know, if I'm at my home page, I can click on the galleries link. There's the gallery index. I can click that to go into the album. So that's it. Um, that's basic setup for the CE4 web publishing suite. Uh, as you can see, it's actually pretty easy, not nearly as terrifying as it might first appear to be. Um, if you have questions or need help along the way, we've got a fantastic community support forum. Uh, we, the developers, are in there just about every day. And also, we get a lot of traffic from some of our expert users who like to help out other people. Um, so it's the very best place to get answers when you have questions. Come in, get help, and uh, whatever the problem is, we'll help you get going. Uh, we want to see all of our customers successfully launch their websites. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, come to theturninggate.net and get your hands on the CE4 web publishing suite. Have a great day.